Gaslaw County, a woman is fighting to keep her mom in the hospital. She claims they're trying to release her even though she's still sick with the virus. CBS 13's Renee Santos joins us live in Stanislaw County tonight where the hospitalization numbers there are skyrocketing. Renee. Yeah, we're talking a 166% increase in hospital cases. One of those cases, a 90-year-old woman with dementia who not only is fighting this virus, but her daughter just found out her mom has stage 4 cancer. She's being treated here at Kaiser and Modesto for COVID. And now that she's breathing on her own, her daughter claims the hospital wants her out. The fact that she's 90 COVID positive and has liver cancer isn't their problem apparently right now. The fact that she's not requiring oxygen. Denise Reyes is putting up a fight. She feels she shouldn't have to. Her mom, who is 90 years old and has dementia, is in the hospital fighting COVID-19. She's now able to breathe on her own, a sign of progress that Denise feels is anything but. She claims the hospital where her mom is wants to release her, even though she is still positive. Denise feels her mom isn't ready and shouldn't be able to leave, given the only place she has to go is the care facility where she got sick. Her doctor told me that they are impacted and they are overwhelmed right now. Stanislaus County has quickly become a COVID hotspot. Denise wonders if the numbers have an impact on why her mom is being discharged. In just two weeks, an additional 106 people have been sent to the hospital. That's a 166% increase. The number of ICU patients also going up fast in the county, leading to a 105% increase. ICU bed availability now just 39% as the numbers get worse. I can only imagine that that's the reason. Denise prays her mom's health doesn't too, left with nowhere to turn. There is no option for her because the hospitals don't want to keep her and it's, it's, it's wrong. Now, we just heard back from the hospital. They tell us Kaiser's clinical team carefully evaluates patients before they are discharged and who no longer need hospital care. They say in some cases, it does involve returning to facilities with separate COVID-19 units.